This is Rostra, the St. Theodore Guerin Junior Classical League podcast, where we bring the lessons of classical study into the light for the benefit of all. Welcome back to another episode of Rostra, and this is an exciting episode in that we have our first return guest. Uh, Saren Wagner was with us on an earlier episode, and she is back again, has another topic. Uh, Saren, first of all, welcome back, and uh, talk to us, what is your topic, and why did you pick it? Uh, I chose the topic about, like, really, about, like, pretty bad Roman emperors, like, they were bad. And I chose this topic because I think I read somewhere about, like, um, Caligula, particularly, and I was just like, wow, this guy was awful. I gotta film a roster episode about him. They're really bad people. Wow, this guy was awful. That could actually be the title of the episode. (laughs) It's just, wow, this guy was awful. Um, certainly Caligula is one of the infamous leaders in, in world history. Um, certainly you'll be talking about him and some others. So, um, okay, take it away. What makes some of these emperors so bad? Uh, I think it's probably that, like, some of them, I've noticed, like, a recurring pattern that a lot of them were, like, appointed when they were, like, teenagers, like, 14, like, 15 or 16 years old, which I think definitely... I mean, I'm sorry, but, like, kids our age do not have the best decision-making skills. So I think that's probably what definitely contributed. A lot of them could have also been considered to be, like, maybe, like, so, like, clinically, like, insane or, like, had some type of mental problems, too, which definitely added on and just also, and then having those kinds of people have, like, like, just people who can't really make pretty good decisions have this much power. It just did not go out. Yeah, it definitely seems like a bad combination, right? And and like you said, for people to be making these kinds of decisions. Uh, So you mentioned one person already. You mentioned Caligula. I'm I'm sure you're going to mention some others. You know, over the course of of the Western part of the Roman Empire, which we think really starts with the Roman Emperor Augustus around um, 31 or 27 BC, um, kind of a disputed date there, Uh, and going really for about 500 years to to 476 uh, AD, there were a lot of emperors, and some of them were certainly good leaders, no question about it, uh, or at least not horrible. Who are some of these bad emperors? Uh, so, like, one of the people is Caligula, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, his real name was Gaius Caesar Germanicus, and his, if Caligula's was a nickname, it translated to Little Boots, which he would have killed. He probably would have put you to death if you actually called him that. Did, did you find out where he got that nickname? Uh, I believe it would, might have been from like his fa- like his father gave it to him. Or when, when he was little, he I used to hang out. His father was a, was a, um, a general in the army, and he used to hang out with with dad. Well, some of the soldiers made him a little kid's outfit of armor. It was very cute, including these little boots, these little military boots, yeah. and that's so it was a really a cute little thing. Oh, look, here comes little boots. And then Little Boots grows up to be this monster uh, of of an individual. Um, Bearing in mind that we really need to keep uh, the podcast, I would say, at least PG-13, is there there anything that you could share about Caligula? And it may not be much if we we put that limit on it. Um, Is there anything you could share about him that would indicate really why he was so bad? I think he was, he really started showing like his cruelty after being like really ill for about seven months. I think some people also like, like some historians maybe like theorize that he like suffered from like epilepsy. Like, I don't know what the other thing is that where he was like ill for several months, but he really started being cruel after that. And again, could easily be a, uh, you know, the, the result of some illness um, affecting his, his brain function. Um, so it, it could have been something he was born with as well. Um, that, that's possible. Uh, okay, what else? What else did you find? Either uh, n- some names of some other people uh, or some things that they did that would indicate uh, why they don't make the good list. <laughs> um, I have quite a list of stuff he's done. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> Again, keeping that at PG-13, uh, share with us what you can. Uh, he waged a war on the sea, He like the god Poseidon. <laughs> He orders. I'm sorry. He orders soldiers to win. 
you order soldiers to whip their waves, like waves and seashells. Like you started like whipping the sea. <laughs> yeah, you know, honestly, to wage war on the sea and 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 to collect not gold or other loot, but seashells. Um, not exactly what you're looking for from your emperor, right? So, yeah, so that was definitely a sign that this, this guy was, was not operating as he should. Imagine being the soldier to get that order. Exactly. And then you're going to tell you uh, guys, uh, the emperor actually wants us to go and attack the ocean. Oh, that's funny, sir. Uh, seriously, what's our mission? No, no, seriously, the emperor wants us to attack the sea. Yeah, you're right. That's just crazy. Okay, what else? Uh, he, he, I think there's also... It was like a legend that he wore Alexander the Great's armor, which some his I think it was like came from like his biographer Dio, and like some historians like do say it's most likely true and does not confirmed. Like he wore like a breastplate or something. And like yeah, that. A, a lot of a lot of the Romans really did uh, think a lot of Alexander the Great. Uh, for the longest time, Alexander the Great's body uh, was um, was on display uh, in Alexandria, Egypt, and it kind of became. Almost like a rite of passage, like people today going down to uh, to Graceland and visiting the home of Elvis Presley. You know, so the Roman emperors would go and visit uh, and see um, the body of Alexander the Great. Actually wearing the guy's armor, again, maybe not what you would expect from an adult uh, leader. So... <laughs> think it was the best thing uh he gave really high treatment to his horse i think like ignatius incitus actually I I, incitatus yes incitatus. he even planned to appoint the horse into like some pretty high office yeah he's gonna make him a senator yeah exactly right i'm pretty glad he didn't actually do that <sighs> you don't know if he actually did that I, so. again no. how does that work i mean how, how does a horse vote in the senate i mean do you, do, you, do, you, do you stamp the ground to show your approval if you're a horse? Uh, how do you get a toga uh, to, to fit on a horse? So, I, I, th I feel like maybe there'd be like, I bet he made a toga for a horse. <laughs> um, he also made senators run for miles in front of his chariot. I don't know why, but like, I don't think it's, but he did that. I, I don't think you can ask the why question. Given the fact that the guy is attacking the sea and appointing his horse to high office, I don't think you can ask the question why uh, when it comes to Caligula. All right, so Caligula, clearly, he's got a long list of, 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 of odd, odd behavior, shall we say. Uh, any other Roman emperors that you found that would not be such good leaders? Um, I've also found, like, obviously the very famous Nero. He's infamous for... Be bad. If you hadn't mentioned Nero, I think our listeners would have been surprised. Okay, so Nero has just gone down in history. His name is just synonymous, right, with with a cruel, bad leader. What did you find out about him that would, would make that the case? Uh, okay, so his full name is Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanic Germanicus. Germanicus? Germanicus. 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 He's actually the nephew of Caligula, which I think I know where that... I, want, I wonder why he's... I think something passed down. Seems, seems to maybe there's a family connection there. Yeah. Uh, he he like rose to power at like 16 years old, which I think maybe that's also why he. Perhaps you know he he should have at least maybe been president of his local Latin club first, right? Before jumping straight to emperor, right? So okay. Um. So so young guy ascends to power. Um. Still, there have been other young leaders who have been very good. What was so bad about Nero? Uh, he was just notorious. He was just like he's actually like known for his cruelty, also his persecutions, like Christians in particular, which didn't even seem like Christians even did anything to him. It's like that is certainly one of the things that he is known for is the persecution of Christians. So Christians at this time, this is still really kind of an up and coming religion, if you will, and. Um, People are kind of learning about it. Uh, some people think it's a little strange, it's a little odd. And it became just, well, hey, something goes wrong in the city. Don't blame me. Let's find somebody else to blame. How about this new group of people over here? We'll blame it on them. Yeah, that's. I think that's exactly what happened for the Great Fire of Rome, which was yeah. a very, very big fire. Like yeah. two -thirds, only two-thirds of the city. A lot of the city. 
Now, Rome was, honestly, Rome was a fire trap waiting to happen because so much of the city was built of wood. And so it just was natural, it was very easy for, for things to catch fire. Um, Nero wanted, really, I think, to, to rebuild Rome in his own image, you know, and have this grand reconstruction. And so there was a question about whether or not he actually started it or whether it, it happened perhaps by accident, but he didn't put it out. Uh, obviously, people were rightly very upset, and so to find a scapegoat. He, he blamed it on the Christians. Yeah, I think it's also where like that. I think where like the, like there was a legend that he like played his fiddle while Rome burned, or said he would. I think it's mo mostly it's most likely false, but still does not paint that guy in a good image. And here's the thing: this is something you can always stop and think about. When you hear something bad about somebody, do you find it easy to believe or hard to believe? For example, knowing knowing you, as, as I know you as, as a student, if I heard somebody say something really horrible about you, I wouldn't believe it because of what I know about you. Thank you. Uh, that would seem unbelievable. On the other hand, there's some people, you hear something bad and you say, yeah, that sounds like them. You know, and so with, with Nero, the whole, yeah, play, and pro it probably, we always say fiddle while Rome burning, but it would have been probably actually playing a stringed instrument called a lyre. Uh, did he do that? Probably not, but he was a bad enough guy that that seems kind of reasonable for him. So, you know, it just says something about his character. So, any other biggies on the, the list of big, bad Ooh. Roman emperors? He killed a lot. He murdered a lot of people, or at least put them to death, yeah. um, including his own wife, the, the wife's successor. Uh, he ordered uh, his, tutor, his tutor and stepbrother and many different senators to criticize his ruling. Yeah, and so, again, you don't, you, you don't um, run afoul of this guy. Uh, you, you criticize him, you're going to end up on uh, <laughs> a little bit more than just Santa's naughty list. Um, so, <sighs> murdering your wife, again, not, not a good thing to do. Uh, what else? What else do we have in terms of uh, any other emperors? Uh, he actually surprisingly did some good things. Like, uh, he actually brought down taxes and reduced food prices. I think that's pretty, think okay. that's pretty good. Okay, can, can we just stay on that for a moment also? <sighs> just because someone is bad, it rarely means that they've never done anything good at all. Right? And just because somebody is good doesn't mean that they haven't done something bad every once in a while. So, so even with the really worst leaders, you probably can find something good somewhere. Now, it may not be enough to outweigh the bad that they've done. I don't think you can outweigh, you know, the, the persecution of Christians and murdering your wife and murdering your friends and all this kind of thing. Uh, but at least he lowered taxes. Okay, so yeah, there, there, there is that. Okay. Anything else that you think that listeners need to hear about any of the bad Roman emperors? Uh, I think he... In like 68 BC, he ended up committing suicide instead of, he had to choose over being executed by the Senate. So basically, he's, I guess this is kind of been assass technically assassinated. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you either do it or we're going to do it for you, you know? So that's, listen, Rome was a rough and tumble place. Uh, they, 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 took, they, they took care of business in rather harsh ways, shall we say. I so. noticed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm. There's like another guy I've read about, uh, Commodus. Oh yeah. He's not that great either. Not that great either. Uh, maybe share something quickly with us if you can about Commodus. Uh, he was appointed emperor at 15, which I guess it's like a running theme with all with most of them. Right. Uh, he pretty much ignored his duties a lot. Yep. Um. He ended his rule caused like civil fighting, which was like which ended up losing that eighty four year streak of stability and just caused like a bunch of fighting. Um, his sister like conspired to as to assassinate Commodus, but the plot f along with a bunch of other senators. But then the plot failed, and like Commodus did just execute a large number of senators, and his. I mean, some of them are probably innocent. You know, there was, uh, you, you may have come across this in history, um, world history, or you may not yet. Uh, there were numerous plots to assassinate uh, Adolf Hitler uh, during uh, World War II. And you, you know that things have gone bad 
right? When, when really some good people say the only way out of this is to get you out. And so, yes, with his own sister, uh, the strange thing about with, with Commodus, his father was a, was a wise emperor. His father was uh, something of a philosopher, Marcus Aurelius. And yet he's got a son who turns out to be quite the disaster. So interestingly enough, his son uh, is featured in the movie Gladiator. So if you ever see Gladiator, that is the Emperor Commodus that is being referenced in that movie. Yeah, I, he, I also read that he tried to give Rome a new name, uh, Colonia Commodiana. <laughs> the col it translates to Colonia Commodus. Uh, that name obviously did not stick. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, for one thing. And then when you try to rename uh, a, a city that's been in existence for hundreds of years like that after yourself. Um, so, you know, uh, imagine, it'd be like you getting elected president of the United States and wanting to change the name of our country to Wag Wagneria. Uh, people would say, what? How do we elect her president? Uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, Saren, very, very nice job. Uh, great to have you back uh, as a, our first repeat guest. And uh, what a topic you had. Yeah. Don't be like these people. Don't be like them. There's some good advice. Don't be like these people. Thank you for listening to Rostra. You may check out all our episodes on Spotify and follow us on social media at GarenJCL. That's at G-U-E-R-I-N-J-C-L.